The Cowboys League comes to a close, but who is the victor? Hey guys, what's up? Cinema 11 here. Wow, a Pokemon XYZ review on the channel. That's crazy. Ash versus Alon. I actually watched episodes 37 and 38 today. Also, let me say this is the last video I'm recording today. I am very tired. I'm tired of doing these videos. But there's a lot of stuff that came out today, so I just had to do some videos on them. And there's also a video coming out today that I ha actually had scheduled for today. And it's Pokemon related, so maybe you could, you know, after this video, you could check that out in a few hours. So, Ash versus Alon. I thought the battles were alright. And... If you didn't know, I haven't really loved the Pokemon anime for a while. I feel like it's a little bit predictable and the battles aren't really that exciting. So I watched it, but I wasn't that crazy about it like everyone else was. And I skipped ahead to watch these episodes since technically I am still behind as I watch the English dub. And I believe the English dub is about 13 episodes behind. Um, they're about to go to the last gym in the English dub so that's that's where we're at and I skipped ahead because I feared that I'd end up being spoiled anyway if Ash won it would be everywhere if Ash lost it would be everywhere so it's like I might as well watch this because either way I'm gonna get spoiled so for some reason Alon has a full team now and I'm sure that's explained in the anime and I'll watch it later and he's now in the league and I'm guessing he just decided to take on gyms to get a better challenge for his Charizard. I'd prefer if you didn't tell me the reason why he's in the league, I'll watch it when it comes out in English. And I really like the shot of Ash kicking his shoe and adjusting his glove before the match starts. And there's no music or anything, I thought that was a pretty cool scene. And the match starts off with Pikachu versus Tyranitar. And somehow Pikachu wins. Isn't Tyranitar like rock and dark or something? So I don't know what happened there. Uh, he won using the logic that he used at Brock's gym. Basically, there's water on this Pokemon. Pikachu's an electric type. Therefore, electricity will be, will be like amplified or something with the water. I don't know. I thought that was a little bit weird. Um, next is Weavile versus Norvern. I liked how Norvern used Supersonic to find Weavile's real body, but Norvern did end up losing. And I think the reason that like the crowd gave her Ash's friends, you know, Serena, Clement, and all that, was that Norvern is still young. And that's true, it's still kind of inexperienced and stuff. It's probably the most unexperienced member on the team. So it does make sense. I guess like in game logic, it would just be Norvern has a lower level. And that's why it lost. Next up was Halucha, since Ash thought it was a good idea to have three flying types on his team this generation. That's always been a little bit weird for me. I, I think it's cool and different that he has three flying types, but I'm not sure that that's the best decision to have for your team. Like a team is meant to be balanced. You shouldn't have three flying types on your team because there, there's a big weakness to ice and electricity. I thought Ice Beam was going to end this match real quick for Halucha, but Halucha ends up doing some weird move where it turns red. Again, I'm not caught up, so maybe this is something that's happened before, but I've never seen it before. It looked like he was charging something up, or maybe it's an ability, or maybe it's been in the anime. I didn't notice it, but I'm pretty sure I haven't seen this before. So Halucha ends up winning against Weavile. Next is Bisharp versus Halucha. Halucha ends up getting paralyzed, he misses his high jump kick, and then he gets cut with x Scizor. and that was a good shot with the um, with Bisharp using x Scissor. And then Alon actually recalls Bish Bisharp, and I was surprised about this because at this point they hadn't recalled any Pokemon, and then he throws out on Pheasant, and Ash uses Talonflame, and I really like the angles used in this battle between the two flying type Pokemon like with the cameras flying the cameras following them not flying the cameras following them as they're flying around and everything they end up colliding with flame charge and sky attack and they take each other out next is Metagross versus Pikachu and I like the scene where Metagross is using agility against Pikachu and then Ash 
having Pikachu get on top of Metagross and using Thunderbolt was a really good idea, but I really thought Pikachu should have lost this one due to the damage that it took and Pikachu already being in one battle, Pikachu looked pretty messed up by the end of this. So Pikachu ends up defeating Metagross and then Alon actually throws out his Charizard next so you know Pikachu is about to get messed up and I'm pretty sure Ash was trying to take out did I just curse? Ash? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ash is trying to he was trying to take out Charizard as soon as possible with Quick Attack and Thunderbolt and at this point things switched over to episode 38 and let me say that I just prefer subtitles because I had to watch episode 38 raw because there were no subtitles and there won't be any subtitles until tomorrow because for some reason Pokemon takes forever to get subbed and I'm guessing that means that Pokemon has no official site to distribute its episodes meaning fans have to sub it um watching Pokemon raw is kind of weird like it's like you can kind of understand what's going on some of the attacks are in English and some of them aren't but I would prefer to be aware completely like once I switched over from the the subtitles, which were okay, to this episode, I was just like, uh, I, I prefer reading this. <laughs> so, Charizard takes Pikachu out with Flamethrower, and then Ash brings out Gudra, and then Alon switches back to Bisharp. And Gudra uses Rain Dance, and they battle for a little bit, with the end result being Bisharp taking Gudra out with X's or Samurai style. And I really like this one. This is probably one of my favorite shots in the episode. Just because of like how cool it is. And Ash is down to his last Pokemon at this point, And he sends out Greninja. And Basharp gets defeated by Water Shuriken. And the stage is set for Charizard versus Greninja. Which is a conflict that's been... As far as I know, we've seen it twice in the anime. I don't know if you guys have seen it more. But so far, I've seen it twice in the anime. And Greninja is very much the main Pokemon for this this arc, this season, pretty much. But the weird thing for me with Greninja is that Froakie didn't seem too special when Ash first got it from Professor Sycamore. And I just thought that was a little bit weird. You know, they come to this village and there's like this prophecy or whatever. And then they also have the stuff um, with that gym leader. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but with her having that prediction and everything about Greninja... I don't know, I thought, I thought that was a little bit weird, but whatever. Now, what I thought was interesting with this fight was that they didn't use Mega Evolution or synchro, synchro Synchronization. They didn't use that right away. So they're, they're battling for a little bit. And then after the Rain Dance wears off, they transform. And then Ash, he ends up using that move that takes Greninja's Water Shuriken and turns it into a huge orange, orange disc thing. I've seen this in previews, but that's about it. I didn't watch the episodes or anything, but I do know this is used in the league. This was used in a previous match. And then Alon ends up using his strongest move after seeing this, and he uses Blast Burn, and then the Water Shuriken and the Blast Burn collide. The smoke clears, both Pokemon are standing, and Greninja powers down and Elon wins the Pokemon League for Pokemon X, Y, Z, Kalos League. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this, so he wins the Kalos League, basically. Now, did I expect Ash to win? Possibly. I got caught up in the hype, and that's probably why I looked for this episode and I'm reviewing it. People are really into the Pokemon anime now, and Ash has made it farther than ever. But if you go back to my theory video on Ash versus Alon, it's actually from a few years ago, I said Alon would mess Ash up, and that ended up happening here. So me in the past was right. But I do feel like the anime has gone on for quite a long time for Ash to have not won the league once, but maybe that will change in Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's just a little bit weird to have a main character that loses the league every year. And I mean, they have him win things that don't really matter as much. I mean, the Orange Islands, that's filler. He won that. And then you have the, the Frontier Brains, and that's not really gym leaders, but he won that, and he declined the position. He could have done the same thing here. Um, won the Kalos League, declined the position. Diantha stays 
the the champion and then he goes to um what's the new region alola and he goes there and does that challenge but who knows he'll probably win alola because there are no gems there <laughs> uh, yeah um where was i at i also think it's pretty cool that most of alan's team can mega evolve well four of them but you know that's most of them, and I, I thought that was a cool thing that I noticed. And I also want to talk about how, or talk about the recent hype about the Pokemon XY and XYZ animes. I don't really get it. The animation is better. The battles are very dynamic, but that's about it. I mean, when I first started the anime and saw the, the first gym battle for XY, I thought, oh, this is cool, you know, the different angles and everything, but I don't know. It's, it's it's still like I just don't enjoy the anime that much anymore, and it's kind of lame how people are just jumping into the anime. You hear all this hype, you're like, yeah, man, I've been checking out the Pokemon anime, haven't been watching it in years, but yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I've been watching it for years, and overall, I think the anime is all right. Uh, I've been watching since the beginning, and I've seen everything from like the middle of Hoenn or something around there till current i've seen all that stuff i i haven't seen a lot of johto because i feel like i missed a lot of johto on tv i've seen um a lot of kanto but yeah i mean diamond and pearl wasn't really that good there was a lot of filler that almost made me drop the pokemon anime if you almost if i've been watching your anime for years and you almost make me drop it you're doing something wrong so diamond and pearl had a lot of filler i thought black and white was pretty good we had silent he was a good companion. I didn't really like Iris. Um, the whole little kid thing got annoying. I talked about that in my review. Uh, this isn't X and Y hasn't been that bad either. I like the um, I like their group and everything. I'm not really too big on Serena. I don't really care about her journey. It's just another person doing contests. It gets old. I'd like to see someone actually be alongside Ash and going to the gyms. And I know, I know that might be that might get redundant, but I think that would be cool. I, I liked when May was confused about her journey and she actually fought the gym leader and then it's like oh I want to do contests and everything but I'd like someone who actually wants to tackle gyms and not you know dance around in outfits and stuff um, I guess that's for girls I guess that keeps girls interested in the anime um, Clement he's okay I don't really like Bonnie Bonnie's kind of annoying I don't really like the whole squish, the squishy thing the squishy plot or whatever uh, with Zygarde just like traveling around with them. Nothing's really happened. A few things, but nothing like too major. Um, let's see. So yeah, I, I, I saw the two episodes, the Kalos League, Ash vs. Zalan. It was good. I'll give it that, but I didn't think it was that exciting. Maybe it's a problem with me, not with the anime, but the anime just doesn't make me super excited anymore. And there's nothing really to get excited for in the anime. I don't, I don't know if these are people re returning to the anime or people that have been watching the anime for years. Like, who's excited for this? Because I see, like, I see the new people being excited for, but how many people have been watching, like, for years? They haven't stopped for long periods of time who think this is exciting. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm used to different animes. I don't know. I'm weird. Uh, the Japanese voices are kind of annoying, especially for Team Rocket and Sawyer. They sound like babies. I don't like that. Uh, I hope the Team Flare plot works out. The anime doesn't really have that many episodes left until they transition into Pokemon Sun and Moon. But I think they should be able to get it done because the plot's probably not going to be that long anyway. Check out my previous video on Pokemon XYZ and let me go find my outro because it's not in the script. So that's cool. How long is this video? 14 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm SirMo11. See you next time, and peace out.